Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're going to take a look today at a Timu adjustable electric shower with what they call anti-scald technology. And I can't wait to try this out, see what kind of pressure we get out of it when we come back. All right, folks, welcome back. So this is a portable shower. It's got an intelligent temperature display, rechargeable, three modes, really handy to have when you're out in the field somewhere. It's also handy to have during an emergency. We don't think about, I need to take a shower today. We just do it normally. Uh, when the power's out and maybe your well pump is out or when the water's contaminated or whatever, and you get yourself some clean water to shower with, believe me, it's well worth it. Um, sanitation is another thing we don't think about. You know, we get a little cut on our finger and we start working in something else that's had sewer water over it. The next thing you know, you got a nasty little infection that it could get in your blood and possibly even kill you. So sanitation in emergencies is very, very important. And that's why I've reviewed a bunch of different types of showers. We're going to see if this one kind of, some of them have been good, some of them have been kind of, eh. We're going to see how this one holds out. Um, I can tell you from just connecting it quickly and seeing if it worked, it seems pretty good. <laughs> so... I have high hopes for it. It does come with a little sponge and a little hanger, okay? If you want that, a little double stick tape on the back of that. Uh, it does come with this here too, so if you're actually putting this up somewhere and there's a flat surface, you can kind of suction cup that and snap it down and you got yourself that. But those really aren't what I'm interested in talking about today. I want to talk about the main components of this whole shower. Now, this, supposedly this can last about 180 to 200 minutes. It has very fast charging. Very, uh, I believe the battery is a 7,800 milliamp hour battery, and it can do about 40 barrels of water according to info on the site, but they don't tell me how big the barrels are. 40 barrels of water could be little, little small barrels, but it does seem like it's got a decent battery in it. It does seem like it's going to kick butt power-wise. Now, the anti-scald display, all right? I'm going to explain it really quickly here. I can't turn it on without it pumping, but you will see a power level on this side here, and over there you'll see either a uh, green, blue, or red little flame on there okay this will also display the amount of power that's in there too from 25 50 75 and 100 on your battery so we will see that once we actually run this outside which we are going to do um, that kind of lets you know ahead of time green is suitable temperature for a shower blue is really really cold and red is way too hot so that's kind of cool too you do have the real-time power display as well as that little graph there and it will show you so the cool thing about this is you can charge it any way you want it's a USB-C and do make sure, you're going to be putting this in water, so do make sure that that is fully sealed. I have it open a little bit because I was just topping it off. So it's a USB, uh, USB A, I'm sorry, to a plug, a little uh, 12 volt plug. Does come with its own power. That kind of to me, it's a bummer. I wish they'd gone USB C on it, but eh, what can you do? But it will seal up better than USB C. Once you seal that in there, as you can see, that's fully sealed. No water's getting in there. The bottom is removable. There is a filter inside of the bottom so you can take it out if it gets clogged up. So you don't have to worry about putting this into silt or muddy kind of water or anything like that. So that's really handy. They tell you not to run this outside of water and that's a good rule for any pump. Pumps are used to having the water in them as a lubricant. You don't want to run it and burn out the motor. There is a copper motor in this, okay? It's a little bit of a more uh, powerful, better motor. It'll last a little bit longer, okay? And this can be fully submersed, so you don't have to worry about that either. So what we're going to do is I'll show you how I hooked it up, okay? Basically, with this, this is a pressure fit on the end here. This is going to go straight in there, and you'll see a little receiving tube in there, and it's going to go in the center here. So all you're going to do with this is just push down and just kind of squeeze it on there and there you go that's done now this side let me get the other side up here is going to go on your shower head this piece is going to go to there there are no uh reduct reduction things in there you need to remove uh, i do that with all my shower heads it drives me nuts when they do that so you're just going to push this in like that and just if i can get this in here right there we go screw it on and it's that simple okay and you do have that little bit of a washer in there that rubber washer that's kind of tapered so it will go up in there and you don't have to worry about plumbers tape or anything like that this will turn it on and off and this will give you three different types of shower so what i want to do is i have a big uh, styrofoam container full of warm water i want to stick it in there and let's see how this thing performs so it's running down there and you can see it's at 50 percent i haven't really charged it up since i tried it i need a decent shower out of it i will back up the camera i just want you to see the uh the green light down there meaning this is good to use let's back up the camera a little bit okay so you can see 
And there you go. Now we're going to go through the different uh, sprays here. Got that one. We got the middle one, which is more of a big spray to it. And of course, just the fine shower at the end there. Works pretty darn well, I gotta say. That's a decent amount of pressure. I know you're out of the camera there, sorry. That's a decent amount of pressure in there, and I'm not worried about getting that thing wet. That does have suction on the bottom. However, because we are in a situation where we're using styrofoam, it's not going to suction to the bottom. But you can see, that's really soaking it up. Let me wide out the camera a little bit more. Let me back you up so you can see a little bit better. So there you go. And I'm just putting the water back in here. That's actually not a bad idea. If you're showering and washing up, you just put the water back in and reuse it. But as you can see, that's a pretty decent... You got your three... The center that one and then the full power one there and if you want to shut this off for a second you can shut it off and put it on I wouldn't recommend doing that for a long time it's hard on the pump but you see how well this works and I have a green light on there which means it's good to go the water is fine now as you can see it's pumped out quite a bit of water and it's not even having any issues with battery or anything so let's get it up on the table and finish up the video and I'll tell you how much it costs and where you can get it. So I'm actually pretty impressed with that. That was a decent shower stream. That was a really good stream coming out of there. If you want to charge this up now, I'm going to show you quickly while I'm doing this. And I wanted to let you guys know, okay, there is a site-wide sale going on now with Timo, 90% off some items. You get free shipping, free returns for up to 90 days and you get a $5 credit if they're late delivering your stuff. So that's pretty cool too. Now, my code below, the DKS9287, will get you a free coupon bundle of $100. So there's a ton of discounts in there if you're interested in trying this stuff out. And they do have some decent uh, outdoor and camping type gear. A whole lot cheaper in some areas. So you're going to pop that area open. You're just going to stick this in there. And you will see it's charging it up. So we're going to let that charge up for the duration of the video because I want to store it charged up. And I gotta say, this is definitely gonna be something I'm actually keeping. Um, having a way to clean up after an emergency or disaster, really important. You don't realize, first of all, it's a morale boost, but second of all, it keeps you clean. You don't end up getting sick. You don't end up you know, having infections and injuries. So it's kind of important to have, okay? Uh, like I said, there is a filter on the bottom of there. So if you're using water, it's kind of questionable, silty, maybe a little dirty, as long as it's nothing really contaminated you'll be fine, you know. Um, if you're taking it from a stream and the stream has a little bit of mud in it, it's gonna be just fine. It won't mess up your pump at all. And one of the things I did forget to show you is that I was running it at low out there. It goes up higher. So when you push this again, you'll start it, you push it again, it goes hot, medium, and then you go to the high. So it really puts out a whole lot of water very quickly. It took about 30 seconds for it to suck up water into this and all the way up this thing and into my hand not bad some pumps i've been like is this thing ever gonna load here let's go <laughs> so this one really worked well so the link will be down below these run about 32.78 for a portable um rechargeable shower that's pretty darn good and you got that seven seventy eight hundred uh amp hours milliamp hours i'm sorry of power so this thing's gonna last you a good long time i didn't hear it straining or you know about to die on me and it was only at 75 percent so definitely a good deal um, I am going to top it off and charge it up and put it away because I like this thing I think that's really cool the ability to wash yourself off in an emergency really comes in handy when you need it um, unfortunately I couldn't find my bucket so I had to use the styrofoam so it didn't really stick with the sticky feet on the styrofoam but it did by the weight of it stay at the bottom and not flop around and go sideways or anything it is all sealed up it's safe to submerge I had that completely underwater, no issues at all. And as you can see, it's charging up with no problem either. So definitely a good little deal. Awesome little emergency shower from Timu. You can check out the link down below. Don't forget to check out all our other links as well. We have our Amazon affiliate store. That link, you can find all the stuff that I test off of Amazon, as well as the gear that I use in the channel. Um, if you're interested in just bookmarking the link and shopping off it every time you shop Amazon, it helps us out a whole lot. You don't have to. Freeze Dried Wholesalers link. That link gives you all the food at Freeze Dried Wholesalers at 15% off. You just click that link underneath my description there shop and you will save tons of money i do have a video coming up there um if you're interested in getting stocked up on some of his food it's really um you know even if you're not gung-ho like i am i love his stuff and i have a whole room full of it at this point a whole storeroom on one side of my shelving is all that stuff packed up but even if you're not you can supplement your regular stored food with say a pack of filet mignon or a pack of you know steaks or uh, anything you know some some freeze-dried beef uh, anything you want to put in there and uh, you can kind of supplement your food with that um, I know sometimes you'll get some of this freeze-dried food in the buckets that are 
basically meat flavored and you're just dying for some meat so with that you can throw some in and you can have it hydrated and ready to go and it's really really good stuff really clean pure there's no impurities all right below that are my patriot supply link don't forget to check out that link that's prepare with iridium.com awesome 200 dollars off on our three-month kit as well as the best of heater if you guys haven't checked that out it's an indoor safe heater and cooking item you can cook with it as well as heat with it take off the top and you got a grill very very cool perfectly indoor safe to use uses the little chafing dish type sterno type canisters to heat it up and below that is our thrive life freeze-dried food store don't forget to check out thrive folks i got a video coming up for them i want to hydrate some stuff and test it out uh, it's really good food those are the three companies that i trust with my food storage hope you guys can too i thank you guys for watching stay safe and stay prepared